My name is Hannah Whitty and I am the Chief Finance Officer at Central and North West London NHS Foundation Trust. My name is Alexander O, and I currently work at Oskley's NHS Foundation Trust. I work as the Associate Finance Director for Financial Planning. My name is Zach, I'm currently Head of Finance at King's College Hospital in London. A few things that caught my eyes on this programme. I think the very first one was the fact that what I probably called the mission statement that came from the chair. Basically that says he is absolutely invested, personally invested in making sure that the program delivers, that the program is inclusive and it promotes diversity. I think the second thing for me was the fact that it was looking at supporting anybody who is at the level of band 8C and above. I wanted to have an opportunity to have a one-to-one -one relationship with a CFO. Um, I think it's quite a privilege to be within the company of a CFO, uh, particularly having that space and time uh, with them to be able to work through your own self-development and understanding. I think secondly, having the opportunity of having some coaching around being able to recognise your strengths and weaknesses and how you can go about developing those areas was particularly important to me and that's something we've covered off in the course as well. The main benefit I think of this programme is that it's been designed by and is being delivered by Chief Finance Officers and Finance Staff in London. It has the benefit of giving uh, participants a direct connection uh, with the CFO community. It feels like from the top every single person who is promoting this program is invested in it. What I quickly recognised was in order to be successful and move into a more senior position, I had certain stigmas and certain, if you like, mental barriers that I actually came across, uh, predominantly cr caused and created by sort of the social conditioning as I was gr growing up in a closed community. And I wanted to have an opportunity to try and address some of those. And what the course has really done quite well through the mentoring, the coaching and the group classes is to understand some of those barriers and what methodologies I've been able to build for myself in order to overcome them. We are able to break the barriers of be it uh, the top finance level and the bottom finance level by having you know, regular uh, social contacts, by, by having regular meetings with uh, colleagues in finance. Now, what can I do going forward? I, I can continue to advocate for things like that. I can continue to advocate for us to speak freely around how to support colleagues with mental health, colleagues with, that are disabled, and hopefully we'll be able to improve the environment for the entire NHS.